Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to EdTech Integration. My name is Mr. Jensen. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the three new features that Canvas released in their 2020 December rollout. So the first feature that I'm gonna talk about is probably the one that has the most confusion or the most questions around it, which is where did my student view button go? Now, normally what happens if we're in our home screen, we can come up to the top right hand side here and we can see a button said, that says student view. Now, we do not see this anymore. What normally happened before is if you clicked on student view, you can now go through your course and you could see what students could see. So on your home page, you could go up to the left hand side menu here and you could click on the things that students could click on. This was a really good way of vetting your course or assignments or your home page before students got into the classroom. What they've done now is they've added the student view button as the glasses up here on the top right. So if we click on this, now we see what students see. So the exact same process as before. So we can see what the students see on the home page. We can see what they see on the menu on the top left hand side here. So if I click into modules. Now again, this is a really powerful tool because it allows you to vet your course before students walk into your room. So I'm gonna leave student view for a second. The reason that they put the home or the student view button up here instead of in just the home page is because now you can access individual pages with student view. So for example, if we come down here to pages and I click on view all pages. What we'll see when we click on one of these pages, so this is a page that I had in September 9th, is you'll see the student view button up here on the top right hand side. <clears throat> so if I click on this, here's what I see. This page is the part of a module that has not been unlocked yet. So again, a really good way for me to vet and say, okay, I need to go back to my modules. I need to unlock it so students can access it. So the nice thing with this, that was a little bit different than last, the previous way that student view worked is you can go through individual pages and you have the student view button on each one of those pages. Now, let's say for example, you're in student view and you click on something that students cannot access. Okay, so a navigation page or something over here that they're not supposed to access, it will just kick you back to the home page. Okay. So pretty simple, um, allows you a lot of power to see individual things as opposed to just your home screen and just the things that are over here. So the second feature that Canvas released in the December rollout has to do with the rich content editor. Now specifically with uploading and accessing media files. So let me show you how I might get there. Um, if I was a student in my class, in my homepage, students come here and they click on these tiles that say today's work. I'm gonna go to a random assignment to get access to my rich content editor. So if I click on edit assignment, I have access to my rich content editor. Now this bar may look different to you. This bar was released in the 2020 January edition. Um, you can access this from the settings tab here. I'll show that in a different video. So here's what's new. If I click on this and I click upload and record media, that button has been there before. What's new about this is when I record media, so I start recording a media session. When I'm finished recording the media session, it saves it into my course files. Now this is a really powerful thing because before you weren't able to save or access this video after you're done with it. So if I click finish, um, let me just name it like 1112 or something like that. Name this file. Now before you would have to export it, save it to your computer to have access to, access to it. Now you can save it to your course files. If I click save, it will upload the video here. I can access this in one of two ways. So if I come up here and I go to course media, I can search for these, I can search for my media here. Okay, so I can insert media from um, this page here, or if you'd like, I can come here to files and I can search for media here. So it's gonna save the media, whether that be audio or video, in your course files so you can upload it. Okay, so as you can see, my video here, so I can click on that, and it's gonna take you to the when video I'm that I just recording did. The now the third feature that Canvas released in the December rollout it has to do with outcomes. So I'm in my outcomes tab. Now, unfortunately, I will be unable to access the new update because this is not something that our district allows us to access. So I'm gonna go over here and show you what it might look like. So if we click on outcomes, normally what you would see is this page here. You can access your 
outcomes or your standards that have been uploaded into your course. Okay. So now what's different is we have a manage tab, a mastery tab, and a calculation tab. Okay. This is what the manage tab would look like. Now, these two things are the new features within Canvas. Okay. So the mastery and calculation. So now what you can do is you can come down here and you can set individually your outcome mastery gradebook. So for example, you can set this, um, these points here, you can set what the description is. So if you're on a kind of a traditional scale, zero, one, two, three, four, as far as outcomes go, you can set those and leave those, or you can change them to whatever you'd like. You can edit them to whatever you like. You can also click on this tab here, which allows you to change how um, Canvas calculates your mastery outcomes. Okay, So within Gradebook. Okay. So this is a really powerful feature. Again, um, just up here, so it says, note if mastery tabs do not display on the outcomes page, course level outcome mastery skills have not been enabled in your institution. So what you would have to do is you'd have to re reach out to your district office, like I would, um, and have them turn that page on. Um, there's a lot of cool features that you can do in here. Um, silly things like changing the different colors, changing the amount of points, changing the descriptions, um, and then also, again, the way that Canvas calculates the outcome gradebook in your course. And you can do that individually, if again, if your district allows you to do that. Hey, thank you guys for taking the time to stop by and support my channel. If you like the content that you saw in this video, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions for me specifically about content or videos that you would like to have uploaded in the future, please leave those in the comments section. Thank you again for the support.